Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing? This is going to be for Sag. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Hi, Sag. How are you? It's been a while, so we're going to get into your love read and see what we have for you today. Okay? So if this does resonate, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT. If it doesn't resonate, I'll have your playlist and put it in the description box. So Sag, please note these are all general reads, not personal ones. Take what resonates and throw out the rest for someone else. If you're looking for a personal read, all the information is going to be in a description box for you. Classes are available that are held on Saturdays as well. For those of you who want to learn tarot classes, they are available on Saturdays. I do have first, what is it? Um, first day read, personal reads. That's in a description box. Or you could make an appointment with me, but it's going to be on a Saturday. Okay. Um, next thing is that please thumbs up your video, Saj. Um, it does help the channel to grow. So the, the, not well, your video to grow so your channel can grow without this is the new norm in YouTube so just please give back um, by you know being of service by liking your video um, I'm being of service by giving you my energy so that's all that I ask you could donate to the channel as well that's your choice you can press the super thanks and it's down below from this video or you can send it to me directly by payment methods are down in the description okay thank you for all of you who have donated okay I see everything with the super thanks. So thank you so much for your love and support. All right. So let's just see what we have for Saj. Saj energy, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What is going on for Saj? Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placement. Ooh, let me fix this real quick, Saj. Okay. <laughs> let me fix this timer quickly sun moon rising or venus placement for Sag. in love holy spirit holy angels holy father thank you spirit guides for being here for Sag. being here for Sag. okay so let's just see what we have Sag, seven of pentacles definitely feel like you have lost a lot you invested a lot and you have lost a lot all right tell me more tell me more virgo energy sun moon and rising or venus placement some of you could be dealing with a virgo um i'm also seeing the queen of swords energy so you have the hermit plus the queen of swords let's see here you have the emperor wow fire energy so a lot of you could be dealing with an Aries, sun moon venus well sun moon rising or venus placement all right so let's just see tell me two more you have scorpio and you have Aries again within the tower and then you have the five of pentacles okay in reverse so let's see ah uh, oh oh Saj, okay, well, there is no communication with your situation. I'm just seeing like this is about someone that there's no communication at all. There's no balance within the situation. Someone doesn't want to compromise here. I feel like this person has been pushing you back when it comes to spiritual growth. All right. I feel like a lot of you are scared of your spirituality within the hermit because you're being isolated, you're being cast out. This is what I'm seeing, you're being dismissed. Um, it's like you're being forced into a journey that you have no idea that you wanna go on, okay? So this is like a surprise. It's like you have planned your life a certain way and now you see your life and you're like, this is not what I wanted for myself. And you have invested so much time and effort to make this happen but now you're realizing all those those efforts has been in vain like you feel like they have been in vain you feel like they ha you have lost everything okay and there's no communication here and then i'm also seeing like being defeated or being manipulated 
you could be dealing with someone that is um, dealing with childhood trauma because the emperor is in reverse and they're telling you about their story their little sob story about this is why I do this and this is why I do that you know I grew up in a bad household I saw my mom did certain things my mom never protect me as a child I lost my virginity from someone that I lost my virginity at 10 from someone that was 45 you know or 60 you know they have a lot going on and they're yes they were a victim but they are choosing to use all of those experiences to have you understand and to stay with them and to um, justify their bad behavior and like they have like this is why I, I did what I did you know you need to understand you need to to stay patient you need to stay with me through all of this and I feel like there was a sudden argument or a sudden breakup within the tower but more to the tower is I just feel like there's a lot of things going on with this person the way they did things and they brought a lot of things to relationship a lot of negative things to the relationship and your foundation together wasn't even that strong so when they bring all of this conflict into the relationship because they're bringing outside conflict into the relationship and then your foundation itself is not strong this is what happens you fall out of the tower together and i'm also seeing a masculine energy that is not so masculine a masculine that is defeated that never had control that never been successful a day in their life and they're trying to show you that they're masculine but you know that you cannot depend on this person right now such i feel like this person comes around and asks you all forms of things you know for help and then this person gets what they want and they leave you because here you are with the five of pentacles getting out of whatever debt or situation that they have left you with within the home a lot of you could have lived together as well within the five of pentacles and they left you to pay the bills to take care of the kids to have all this burden on your back but the holy spirit is revealing here that you will overcome tell me about this seven of seven of pentacles energy five of pentacles is ruled by taurus and seven of pentacles too so you have a lot of taurus coming out here as well okay a lot of taurus tell me more about the seven about the seven tell me more about the seven of pentacles usually you have the six of pentacles look at that <laughs> a lot of taurus energy the holy spirit is saying that you're going to get back what you what you lost within this situation because you feel like you have lost whatever you invested in whether it whether it was a house or um this could be multiple businesses you were trying to do a lot of different things and make sure that they were going a certain way and a lot of things fell so and i feel like it fell because you were paying attention to this person and not to your per your, your situation you know your responsibilities your responsibilities not their responsibilities your responsibilities so let's just see tell me more about that energy holy spirit wow the knight of swords soon as you get your feet back this person is coming through without a plan there's no appointment so i'm just seeing them rushing through like they own the place and this could be very forceful for you like, like they're trying to force themselves on you force you to you know to accept certain things okay so is Saj going to accept this energy you're not strong enough this is what you're saying this person has you at a place where you feel like you can't fight back you can't fight back with this energy with the strength here angel michael is with you you feel like you're alone you're not alone it's just you know re this is just your reality it's like you you are the way you're thinking you feel like you're alone so you're creating that reality you are not alone you have angel michael by your side here within the strength like trying to let you know that have courage have courage have courage like you know be strong be strong be calm you know um do things do what you want but do it in a positive light 
is not what you do is how you do it this is what i'm getting and that positive light will only avoid you from making any karmic um hiccups meaning that how you treat people is it, it could it's it's it brings it's a karmic balance so if you treat people bad you're going to have to experience that person's feelings you know you're going to have to go through some kind of relationship whether it's this life or the next life to balance that back out so make sure you're doing the right thing in a positive level peace and light okay all right so tell me about the hermit holy spirit wow you still love this person you're still waiting for this person you don't want to leave look at that you're not ready an emotional scale such to leave this person behind this is what i'm seeing you're still waiting for this person to be with you you have the justice here so there you're dealing with a lot of lies here i mean Saj, remember this could be in reverse where you are creating the lies or this person is so you know there's a lot of unjust within this relationship within libra's energy libra sun moon and rising and venus placements within the justice and that the scales are in reverse the scales are in reverse look at that i'm not making that up the scales are in reverse all right we just talked about karmic balance all right um so again you know this person whoever is lying here whoever is keeping secrets are going to have to experience someone lying to them in the future or in the next life or someone doing the same thing to them it, it has to be balanced out here all right but i'm seeing that you are waiting for this person to give you that offer that you have been talking about like you don't want to be with anyone else right now you want to be with this person tell me about the queen of swords communication will this be lifted will this change holy spirit i'm getting a yes but this person is very prideful okay this person is coming up as a page of cups here they need to apologize to you but they don't feel like they should um they don't feel like why should i but I'm seeing like, like they're in the wrong about this. They need to apologize. Um, tell me more. You have the King of Wands. Hmm, very stubborn, very um, bold, very determined energy. I don't see an apology, but I feel like this person does want to be successful with you. Like they're coming in like they're the boss another emperor energy i mean it's close enough the king of wands sag energy um very successful energy this is a very determined all about success not in the optional phase to fail you know there's no optional phase to fail for this person they need to be very successful so this is you're looking at this person as being very strong very forceful they don't take no for an answer when they want their way this is why i'm seeing like they're rushing in without an appointment <laughs> they're rushing in so this person can show up at your job this person could show up at your home this person could show up anytime and they feel like that's okay um another thing that i'm hearing this is normal hmm all right so this is why this person feels like they can do it because they did it before and no one ever stopped them the first time so it's time to make healthy boundaries okay so tell me more emperor energy in reverse what is this the seven of cups so there was a lot of multiple partnerships or a lot of people that were, were involved with this i don't feel like this person has the strength right now to make a decision to set healthy boundaries with these seven of cups okay this could be their family this could be multiple people tell me about the seven of cups mm, this is an offer this is the knight of cups this is people that they love people that they care about people that they're built romantic energies with or emotional connections with okay and <laughs> i just feel like this person is being the knight in shining armor for everybody this is what i'm getting here the knight in shining armor for everybody at this point tell me more <laughs> We have the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups energy. Wow, look at that. You know, it's like I'm hearing like this person is, there's no decision. 
they haven't made a decision who they want to be with but the offer is to be there for i'm just seeing that they're being there for a lot of people and telling them making promises to them like they're going to fulfill their desires of their hearts this is who you're dealing with so some of you are with someone that believes in being with four or five people at once or living with four or five people on a romantic scale listen or being married to more than one wife so one husband okay wow very fluid energy okay this is what's going on and Saj your energy is this is what I, I feel because Saj is known to be um, an energy that can be with a Gemini a Aquarius or a Libra right because you guys are so free spirited you go with the flow and you are you are also into like threesomes and stuff like that but if this is not something that you want you need to let this person know because obviously i'm just seeing like you're with somebody that has mutual a lot of multiple partnerships and they're really building a relationship with them and this is something that you don't want clearly because you have the tower here tell me about the tower so a lot of you could be dealing with an ear sign <laughs> All right, this is way too much, Holy Spirit. One at a time, thank you for the tower. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is so into other things right now. Like, they don't have no time for you. Where's your time? Where's your love? They're giving you Four of Pentacles. They're trying to control the time, the investment with you they're trying to give you what's left and you're saying that you invested so much within this energy and they're trying to give you what's left like you're saying you should be the first person to get everything you should be getting everything within this relationship the first priority but you're the last and you're saying to yourself you made them the first this is what I'm seeing, Sag. Tell me about this. Four of Pentacles. Wow. You're going to find out within the well what's going on. This goes deep. This is what I'm seeing here, but this person is very open to let you know what's going on. I feel like you have no idea what's going on. Even though I, I picked this up with an emperor, this person played the victim about things that they have been through, and I'm seeing that they're going to let you in, okay? They're going to let you in and it goes deep and deep and deep. You might even look at this person differently. Okay. And that's not in a good way, but this is what they fear. You know, they don't want you to look at them as being weak or defeated in life or, you know, unbalanced, untrustworthy. They want to be a masculine. Tell me about, I feel like this person has a sex addiction, you guys. Tell me about the five of pentacles. Five of Pentacles. The sun in reverse. You're not happy doing this. Look at that. Your sun is in reverse here. Leo energy. Sun, moon, or rising, or Venus. Leo came up twice within the strength and the sun. For those of you who are dealing with a Leo, there you are. Your confirmation. I'm seeing Libra. Those of you who are dealing with a Libra, Major Arcana, that's your confirmation. I'm also seeing the well is known for water placement. So that could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, Major Arcana, the well. Um, Scorpio is coming out in a tower as well with Aries. Okay, Aries is also the Emperor. Major Arcana, Sun, Moon, Venus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. Virgo is also coming out within the Hermit. For those of you who are dealing with a Virgo, tell me what the um, the advice is, Holy Spirit, for Saj. All right, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. The sun is in reverse. The Queen of Wands is in reverse. Your nurturing side is gone. This person have changed you. A lot of you are dealing with an Aries. I just did Aries reading and the same thing came out with the Queen of Wands in the sun standing up for yourself because this person have done so much to you but it have changed you from this light full energy 
that you are always light by the way you are always light because you're made of light so I just want to say that but your light has been dimmed because of this energy so now you're not as kind you're not as nourishing you're not as playful you're not as patient you're not as sweet you're not as motherly like a feminine energy like you're not this energy anymore you're more aggressive you're more demanding and you're doing it to protect yourself okay but the angels want you to know to do not become that because that's not what you are okay all right so the advice you have the eight of swords you have the four of wands in reverse which is the 11 11 so you feel like your path is off track then you have the two of wands okay so what i've seen is two future elements you know future elements in reverse okay the angels are saying that you feel like you have missed an opportunity within your past and you feel like you're off track within this situation but just know that you're not the angels are saying that there is a conflict that you need to learn how to resolve okay in a a calm positive manner i feel like what you got going on right here is a lot of negativity a lot of yelling a lot of arguments a lot of fussing a lot of fighting um a lot of unbalanced situation a lot of blaming each other okay because you have invested so much and this person have not given you anything but playing the victim all right and making it seem like you are not good enough you are not good enough to commit to but that's not the case this person has an issue but this person will ma manipulate your mind in thinking that making you think that you are the problem because a manipulator never wants to say that they're the problem you understand the angels want you to get out of this stop waiting for someone to give you the clarity stop waiting for someone to give you the peace and the light and your self-esteem back the love back that you need for yourself the angels are saying that you're going to have to do this for yourself yes you have been mis you have been um, mistreated you have been lied to you have been um judged unfairly here within this situation within the justice but you cannot depend on this person to come here and to clear this up. You cannot depend on this person to give you the justice, to give you the just, to choose you at this moment. You have to choose yourself within this eight of swords. Right now, you feel stuck in life. You feel like you can't go anywhere, like you're restricted, you're trapped, you're imprisoned, okay? And this person is making you feel this way. The Holy Spirit is saying it's in your mind within the eight of swords. It's all in your mind. This person have placed this in your mind. But you have the power it is your mind to control your life to, to to control whatever you create within your situation once you start thinking about something that you're going to fail you're going to fail you're going to fail you're creating your own reality this is why and it's so easy to do that and it's so hard to get back to that positive vibration this is why it's so important to cancel everyone that is negative into your life and search for positive beings positive vibration because if you surround yourself with positive vibration that is just light positive light you're going to be positive yourself because those people are feeding it's like prayer like you you go to church and a lot of people are just praying on you every day you are protected you are blessed okay this is why it's so important to have positive beings around you not negative beings that come around you every day and tell you about the same story every day about the same gossip about the same trauma about the same trials and tribulations that they're going through and they never make a change you surround yourself with those people you're going to end up not making a change within your life because that's the energy that you're attracting this is what I have for you, Saj. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Make sure you like the video, okay? The uh, more you like your videos, the more the videos grow, the more the channel grow, the more people go to support your videos, the more videos I put out because I'm seeing that you're giving back to me, and so I'm giving back to you. All right? Love you, and I will see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.